Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about simple planning agent. So we already discussed what is planning, right? What is planning? A uh, planning is going to have a sequence of action that are going to perform to reach a goal. So we'll have an initial state, and we'll have a lot of actions. By performing these actions, we are going to reach to the goal state. Okay, and we have uh, each action will have a preconditioning, and it has its after effects. So when I want to perform an action, I have something prior to be done. and after performing the action i have its outcome okay so everything has to be expressed this is a plan like this is a execution plan for any of the things to happen and in case of artificial intelligence when you want to uh, make a robot work for us like uh, like it has to be automated okay so agent is something that is a pro it might be a program or a robot or anything that is going to perform this action so when when you call it as an agent the agent is something that is going to interact with the real world and based on the conditions of the real world it is going to perform some actions okay so a uh, simple planning agent will have a agent and that agent will have a sensor and sensor is going to sense the present environment you can visualize that as a robot okay so robot is going to sense its corresponding environment and based on the scenarios it is going to choose one particular action that can be performed to reach its goal like uh, when a robot want to deliver a package to a customer so what all the things that it want to consider like it has to take the route shortest route without any obstacles and each and every move like that route is one step and to reach the goal through that route it has to take each and every step without making any clashes in all right so this involves a lot of actions to be performed in a sequence to reach the goal okay and agent is something that is going to perform by itself it has a sensor it is an automated process that is the major task of artificial intelligence right we have to automate everything so the agent is going to interact with the environment it is going to sense the environment get the perception of the environment and choose an appropriate action that will be more preferable to reach its goal okay so this is how a simple planning agent is uh, designed okay so agent is going to carry out certain actions and uh, it it includes the reasoning and the representation of actions okay so it represents the entire world and it also represents the action that can be taken into constraint okay and it includes hard constraint and soft constraint constraints hard constraint are something that has to be achieved for sure okay uh, delivering a package is must okay so it has to do it and soft constraint is something uh, sometimes we may not go into a optimal path to so that has to be accepted okay so objectives are the preference that has to be achieved as much as possible even though if it is not achieved it is also fine okay so this is how a simple planning agent has to be designed so what is the difference between planning and problem solving we already discussed what is problem solving right uh, we'll verify a problem we'll understand that in our reality we find a way to find a solution for it right understanding representation formulation and solution is the steps of problem solving and what is the difference between this planning and problem solving us a planning agent is similar to that of a problem solving agent but here uh, we are going to propose a method okay uh, to achieve the goal we are going to propose a method a sequence of action and that has to be implemented so this is more powerful than that of your search tree okay searching for a solution is just rather searching a uh, space to reach a goal state is different whereas planning is the actual execution plan of each and every step so that is totally different okay so planning is more powerful than the top your problem solving since we are going to represent the methods that we are going to use and we have a programming language to implement this too okay and the algorithm for simple planning agent is first we have to generate the goals that we want to achieve and we are going to uh, create a plan to achieve this goal from the current state on so we are going to execute the goal uh, execute the plan that is actually we have formed on and we are going to verify whether it is reached and if it is reached what is the next goal that you want to perform on okay so this is a recursive process each time when a goal is achieved we try to find the next goal and we have to proceed on okay and uh, like this simple planning agent works on some constraint okay so as i said it is a simple planning agent it is not that dynamic so whatever we have discussed so far it has its own assumption okay there are four main assumptions that we are going to fo fo focus on it so first one is all the actions that are going to occur over here is going to occur one at a time 
like when i want to perform some action i'm going to perform only one action at a time there is no par parallel processing there is no parallel execution is allowed okay so we cannot divide and conquer like divide all possibility and parallelly we work on all possibility finding a solution is not possible in case of agent based problem like it says perform one action and then take the remaining possibility okay and uh, it is a complete deterministic environment like there is no uncertainty is given okay whatever we do it has its own specific outcome okay that is the second assumption the agent is going to work on and the third assumption is whatever is not specified we are going to take it as a false condition okay so whatever you are sensing in the environment everything will be to, uh, taken as a state or a action but in case if anything is not specified we are going to assume that it is false okay the agent is going to take assumption that it is going to false okay so the major simple planning agent actually plan to work only in a, a complete fully observable deterministic static environment okay not that of your dynamic one okay so now you could have got an idea of what is simple planning agent right thank you